Can trauma your grandparents experienced affect your DNA? The answer is yes. For the first time ever, a conclusive study proves that epigenetic changes on DNA from people who experienced wars, like in Syria, can be passed down to their progeny. The study was conducted by molecular biologist and geneticist of Syrian descent Rana Dajani and her team of dedicated scientists from around the world. They collected DNA samples from three generations of dozens of different Syrian families. As a scientist, I know that uh, when a person is exposed to trauma, their DNA doesn't change. However, there are changes made on their genes that turns them on and off, and we call this epigenetics. Epigenetics is like a mark on the DNA, showing how life experiences, like what we eat or how we live, can affect how our genes work, but without changing the DNA itself. When a new generation is born, most of these changes are erased, but some can be passed on. To study if trauma leaves lasting marks, scientists examined the toll of 30 years of violence in Syria, collecting DNA from 131 people in 48 families. They divided them into three groups. The first group focused on trauma from the 1982 Hama massacre. It included grandmothers who were pregnant during the massacre, their daughters who were in the womb at the time, and their granddaughters who were born years later. The second group examined the impact of the 2011 Syrian uprising. These families had grandmothers who were not in Syria in 1982, daughters who had experienced the 2011 conflict, and granddaughters who were born much later. In each family, one granddaughter was born before 2011, and one after allowing direct comparisons within the same family. The third group served as a baseline. These were Syrian families who emigrated before 1982 and therefore had no direct exposure to either trauma. And it took us seven years to collect all the data. And then we uh, transferred all the biological samples to the University of Florida, where uh, Connie Mulligan's lab analyzed the DNA. The findings were surprising. Scientists found 14 genetic changes passed down from grandmothers who went through trauma and 21 changes in those direct directly affected. They also discovered that fetuses exposed to trauma in the womb showed signs of aging faster. And this is so important because today when we look at Gaza, there's thousands, tens of thousands of women who are pregnant today exposed to the genocide that is unfolding. However, the function of 14 genetic changes remains unknown. All we know is these 14 sites, they're not part of any um, depression pathway or uh, uh, stress pathway. Right? So if they're not in part of any discovered pathway for stress and uh, anxiety and depression, they probably have things to do or function to do with higher regulation. And higher regulation usually means you have diversity and adaptability to the environment. And inherent in that outlook is that these children who have inherited the trauma or who pass it on to the future will be more resilient. But we cannot say scientifically we have discovered that. We have only started on the path of uh, providing the, let's say, the framing that this is possible. So this negative attitude that trauma, uh, uh, that you're a victim, is a very colonizing idea. We can survive, thrive, and flourish, and stand up against uh, adversity in future generations because we are adaptable as a species. Dejani's research may also bring justice to families who endured the brutal regime of former Syrian ruler Bashar al-Assad. We now can uh, have biological evidence that bears witness on the impact of trauma. And this can be used to stop violence, to call for stopping violence on one hand, and to hold the perpetrators accountable for what they have done. And we said that we now, this biological evidence can be used to, in a court of law, to hold the perpetrators um, responsible for the atrocities that they have done. So the way we did this research project made us do better science, so we're discovering something new scientifically, but also doing better for humanity.